Hello everybody. So I'm back. And the wind has picked up again. So hopefully it's not affecting the camera too much. But uh, we'll start with the Chris Kane companion. I do have my cheat sheet with me. There's a lot of stuff to go over with this. So please bear with me. It's just another informational video. At some point I'll I'll be using it, but today I, I got my bush, uh, bush tool with me. So first off, the nylon sheath. It is made in the UK by Chris Kane. Well, not the sheath. I don't know where the sheath's made, but the knife itself is. The sheath itself has three. Let me move. Uh, let me move the camera here. I'll just scoot up a little bit more. All right. Here. Now you can hopefully see it better. So here's the knife. Here's the sheath. It's got three, three of these. And it just slides in like this. And they're pretty solid. I mean, I don't know if you could hear it on camera, but they're pretty heavy duty from what I can tell. Alright, so also it's on a D-ring. If you've ever seen any of my other videos about knives, I've never had one with a D-ring on it, so I'm looking forward to playing around with it, see if I like it. Um, usually all the other ones that I had, they're just solid belt, or uh, not belt, solid sheath that you attach to the belt like this. So I'm looking forward to testing this out, see what I like about it. Again, it's the first time ever having one that had a D-ring on it. So, all right. So, the knife itself. Okay. Uh, first of all, it is full tang. Okay. Full tang. Made out of 1075 high carbon steel. And it's made in Sheffield. Sheffield? I'm sorry if I killed that name. It has a convex uh, grind on it. Okay. The spine is square, just like the, the Viking that I had on my other video. But this one doesn't seem like it's as, as uh, 90 degree, I guess, as the Viking was. So, I don't know, we'll see. Um, the handle itself got three pivots in it and it's uh, a green micarta handle okay let me grab my trusty ferro rod here we will try it and see how it works I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but it was shooting sparks pretty well. Um, yeah, it's been shooting them, so that's good. <coughs> Let me 
put this away real quick here so I don't lose it. Alright. Again, it's uh, 1075 high carbon steel. The overall length from here to the tip is 13 and 3 fourths inch, so 13.75 or 34 centimeters. Okay, again, that's from the tip to the end. Blade length from right here to the tip is 8 inches. Okay. The hardness of this that I saw, that I looked up on the Pathfinder school, or the, not school, but the Pathfinder website, has a hardness of 51 to 53 Rockwell. I honestly don't know what that means. I couldn't tell you. So hopefully you guys know. And the weight it has a good little bit of a weight to it. Um, it's, I think they said on there it was 16 ounces. Without the sheath, it's just the knife. About 16 ounces. And one thing that I've noticed about this too, and just by handling it, kind of seems like it has about three different points that you can put your hand. Um, I mean that's just what I'm getting from it. And what I mean by that is, okay I can choke up on here, the, the actual handle's right here, okay. I can choke up on it so I can do fine work. And the second is just holding it like this, okay. But the third one is it seems like I can take it back here and it seems like it's more of a chopper this way. So that's one of the kind of neat things about it is it seems like it has three different uh, holding points. Again, it's the one back here, it seems like this would be good for chopping. Okay, and then holding it just regular, regular way, and then choking up on it. So that's one thing I noticed about it too. It seems pretty nice, and uh, so I'm really interested in testing this out. Um, it probably won't be today because I got other videos I got to do. But uh, just want to give you guys a little informational video. Also comes with this lanyard. And the way that he has it set up, I didn't set it up this way, it actually came like this. So, so if I remember correctly, you can go like this and wrap it around. So it holds it into place. Um, my hands are kind of big, so it might not work as well. <clears throat> okay. And again, I just have it on my thumb. That's the reason why I had it like this, is to put it on your thumb. You can hold it and grip it, hack with it. Another nice thing I noticed too is it seems, just for first impressions, and I don't know if this is if this would really work but it seems kinda like you would be chopping like right here and then if you had like a stick that was cut in half or you are batoning it seems kinda like you can have it kinda like at an angle like this and either cut down on that piece of wood or you can 
baton with it and just split it that way. So you can just have it, instead of standing up and trying to chop down it, you can just lay it down and chop. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature. Again, I don't, this is just speculation, I don't know how well that would work or not, because I haven't tried it, but that's just what I can see from it. So, I do apologize if this is kind of a long video, long boring one. <laughs> just doing another informational one. So, that is the companion. And I do believe, if memory serves me correctly, there are, I think, three, like, three sets like this. Um, if I remember correctly, there's a larger one, kind of like a machete status one, I think. And then this would be the medium one. And if memory serves me right, they have a shorter one too. So this would be the one that's in the middle. If if memory serves me correctly, again, I don't quote me on that, but it just seems like that. If I remember correctly, that's how it was. All right. Well, again, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, it was kind of a boring video. I'm kind of rusty. Still working on it. And thank you for watching. Please comment any questions that you have, any concerns, any anything like that. And uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.